Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to write an SREE. So SREE stands for Statement, Reason, Example, Elaboration. They're really important to teach you how to express your thoughts clearly, organize your writing, support your answers with evidence, and then elaborate. So let's dive in. Okay, so step one is to write a statement. So to do that, you're going to just reword the question into the statement. This is honestly the easiest part of an SREE. So if you look at my example, I have should students wear uniforms? And then I'm just gonna switch around the word order into students should wear uniforms. Or if you disagree with the question, just throw the word not in there. So students should not wear uniforms. All right, now we're gonna practice. So write a statement for the question, should friends keep each other's secrets? All right, step two, you are going to write a reason. Um, it always will start with because, and you're going, the reason is going to be the reason why you chose your statement. Um, so looking at my example, um, students should wear uniforms. I'm going to give a reason why I think students should wear uniforms. If I had chosen students should not wear uniforms, I'm going to give my reason why students should not wear uniforms. So students should wear uniforms. My reason is because they help cut down, they help schools cut down on discipline problems. So remember reasons will start, will always start with because. All right. Um, your turn. You're going to write a reason for the following statement. Friends should keep each other's secrets because why? Why should friends keep each other's secrets? Go ahead and write your reason. All right, moving on to the example. This is step three in the SREE. Um, this will also be your second sentence because if you guys notice, um, the statement and the reason combined together only make one sentence. Um, that's just to help give you a really strong first sentence. Uh, you don't really want to start sentences with because, so we wouldn't want our reason to be a sentence on its own. So the statement and the reason together are one sentence. Your example will be your second sentence, but it is the third part of an SREE. So in your example, um, you're going to give an author tag, which is where you tell me the name of the author and uh, if there is one, the title of the article. And then you're going to support your statement and your reason with evidence. So remember my statement and reason were students should wear uniforms because they help cut down on discipline problems. So I went and found an article and in that article, um, it had a lot of statistics supporting uh, why schools should have a uniform policy. So my example says, for example, according to the Long Beach County School District, when they adopted school uniforms, fights and muggings dropped by 50% within one year. So I feel like that's a really compelling uh, support for my statement and reason. Before, my statement and reason was just my opinion, and now I've really beefed it up by adding that example in there. I've shown that this. I've shown that this isn't just my opinion. Um, this is actually supported by hard facts um, that were researched in an actual school setting. Okay, let's go ahead and write our example now for our question, should friends keep each other's secrets? So our statement and reason, our friends should keep each other's secrets because friends have to be able to trust each other. So I want you to find an example. Um, so for example, why? Why should friends keep each other's secrets? Um, and since I haven't given you any research or a text to refer to, this example can come from your own life for this one. All right, the last step in an SREE is to elaborate. 
An elaboration is the hardest part of an SREE, but it is the part where you show off your own knowledge and your own voice in your writing. So it's definitely the most important part. Um, so you use your background knowledge about the topic, no matter what the topic is, and then you're going to also explain how the quote relates to the statement and the reason. Now remember, elaborating means that you're adding something new to your SREE. You cannot just restate something that's already been said. So let me show you my example. So my statement, reason, and example so far are students wear uniforms because they help student schools cut down on discipline problems. For example, according to the Long Beach County School District, when they adopted school uniforms, fights and muggings dropped by 50% within one year. Now, I need to use my background knowledge about uniforms, schools, um, discipline problems, which I have a lot. <laughs> and then I need to also explain how my example relates back to my statement and reason and wrap all of that up into my last sentence for my SRE. This means that schools that have uniforms can help students focus in class instead of distracting other students. So I have uh, taken my quote, I've explained what my quote means, I've explained how my quote actually relates to my statement and my reason. And then I also um, have brought in that piece about um, what discipline problems actually mean in class, like students who don't focus in class. Um, notice that I didn't say, this means that schools should have uniforms. That doesn't add anything new. That's what I've been saying the entire time. So remember, elaborations must add something new to your SREE. All right, so let's practice. The question is, should friends keep each other's secrets? The statement, friends should keep each other's secrets. The reason, because friends have to be able to trust each other. Our example is, for example, according to Harlina Singa in the article, Developing Trust in Friendship, that whole thing is my author tag. It says, instead, by keeping your friend's secret, you are keeping your promise and you allow them to trust and share things with you. Now, I want you to write an elaboration connecting that example back to the statement and the reason, but also adding something new. Remember, you cannot just say, this means that friends should keep each other's secrets. What does that quote mean? This means that what? Use your background knowledge about friends, trust, secrets, and add something new to this SREE. All right, guys. Now that you're SREE pros, we're going to do one where I'm going to read this article to you, and then we are going to write an entire SREE about it. This article is called, Many Teens Do Not Get Enough Sleep, So Should School Start Later? And it's by the Los Angeles Times, so remember that for your author tag. Do you have trouble waking up in the morning? If you do, it may be because you're not getting enough sleep. Doctors are noticing that many kids do not sleep enough. The American Academy of Pediatrics is a group of doctors that studies young people. The group says that sleepiness is a serious problem for teenagers. Doctors say that teenagers should sleep from eight and a half to nine and a half hours each night. Many students do not sleep that much though. Some teenagers do not go to bed until late at night. Then they have to wake up for school before getting enough sleep. For example, the average student in the 12th grade gets less than seven hours of sleep a night. Not getting enough sleep can make, pro make students feel tired all the time. This tiredness leads to a number of problems. Being tired makes it harder to be happy, pay attention, remember, and make good decisions. So can't teens just go to bed earlier? The answer is not really. Studies show that even when teens want to go to sleep early, their bodies do not always let them. This means that an earlier bedtime might not help. 
If teens cannot fall asleep earlier, how can they get more sleep? Maybe they should sleep in later in the morning. This is why the doctors at the American Academy of Pediatrics are now saying that schools should start later. Imagine a school that starts at 8 a.m. every morning. If it start, imagine a school that starts at 8 a.m. every morning. If it started at 9 a.m. instead, students could get an extra hour of sleep each night. This could help students feel rested. It may have other benefits as well. Maybe fewer students would be absent for class. Some may even do better work in school because they're not so tired. This is why some doctors think that starting school later is a good idea. Will there be enough time for classes if the school day starts later? Will parents be able to get their kids ready for school before going to work? Starting school later may be difficult. Even so, the American Academy of Pediatrics says that schools should try it. Getting enough sleep, they say, is important for teenagers' health. Okay, so we're going to write an SREE about should school start later. So remember, your statement will be school should start later or school should not start later because why or why not? And then you'll give an example. So for example, according to, and then give your author tag, give your evidence that backs up your answer, and then elaborate. If you forgot how to do any parts of the SREE, feel free to rewind this video and watch it again. Um, I'm going to leave the slide on this, but if you would like to go back and look at part of the video for evidence, feel free to rewind it and look at the and look at the article to do your quotes. Thanks guys.